This is an English listening practice. I will read the same sentence twice. Please fill the blank space with a word. The several parts of the body which are homologous, and which, at an early embryonic period, are alike, seem liable to vary in an allied manner. We see this in the right and left sides of the body varying in the same manner, in the front and hind legs, and even in the jaws and limbs, varying together, for the lower jaw is believed to be homologous with the limbs. These tendencies, I do not doubt, may be mastered more or less completely by natural selection. Thus a family of stags once existed with an antler only on one side, and if this had been of any great use to the breed it might probably have been rendered permanent by natural selection. The several parts of the body which are homologous, and which, at an early embryonic period, are alike, seem liable to vary in an allied manner. We see this in the right and left sides of the body varying in the same manner, in the front and hind legs, and even in the jaws and limbs, varying together, for the lower jaw is believed to be homologous with the limbs. These tendencies, I do not doubt, may be mastered more or less completely by natural selection. Thus a family of stags once existed with an antler only on one side and if this had been of any great use to the breed it might probably have been rendered permanent by natural selection. Homologous parts, as has been remarked by some authors, tend to cohere. This is often seen in monstrous plants and nothing is more common than the union of homologous parts in normal structures, as the union of the petals of the corolla into a tube. Hard parts seem to affect the form of adjoining soft parts. It is believed by some authors that the diversity in the shape of the pelvis in birds causes the remarkable diversity in the shape of their kidneys. Others believe that the shape of the pelvis in the human mother influences by pressure the shape of the head of the child. Homologous parts, as has been remarked by some authors, tend to cohere. This is often seen in monstrous plants, and nothing is more common than the union of homologous parts in normal structures, as the union of the petals of the corolla into a tube. Hard parts seem to affect the form of adjoining soft parts. It is believed by some authors that the diversity in the shape of the pelvis in birds causes the remarkable diversity in the shape of their kidneys. Others believe that the shape of the pelvis in the human mother influences by pressure the shape of the head of the child. 